Rational expressions are like fractions. They have a polynomial in the numerator and a polynomial in the denominator. Those polynomials can be on, of different degrees. For example, one over x is a rational expression. Two x over x plus one is a rational expression or x minus three over x plus four is a rational expression. As you can see, rational expressions contain a variable in the denominator. Every time you work with a rational expression, you need to state a restriction for it. A restriction is stated on the denominator. It should be a value that could potentially make your denominator equal to zero. And since you cannot divide by zero, that value should be restricted. In the first one, x cannot equal zero. In the second one, x plus one cannot equal zero, so x cannot equal negative one. Here, x plus four cannot equal zero, so x cannot equal negative four. If you tried subbing in those values in for x in the denominator, you will see that you will end up with a zero. And if you divide your numerator by zero, the answer will be undefined because you cannot divide by zero. Now let's see how we can simplify rational expressions. Let's simplify the following rational expression. We have an expression in the numerator and in the denominator. We need to divide the coefficients 48 and 24 and then divide the powers with corresponding bases. When we divide the powers with the same base, we subtract the exponents. So 48 divided by 24 is two. X to the power of six divided by X cubed will be X six subtract three. Y two subtract two. Z five subtract four. Now let's continue simplifying. X will be to the power of three. Y will be to the power of zero and anything to the power of zero except zero is one. So Y is gone, it turned into one. And Z will be five minus four to the power of one. This is the simplest form of the above rational expression. We still need to state the restrictions though, because there are certain values of X, Y, and Z that will make your denominator zero. So if I take each value in the denominator and set it to zero, then X cannot equal zero, Y cannot equal zero, and Z cannot equal zero. Because if I multiply 24 YZ by zero, I'll get zero. If I multiply 24 X Z by zero, I'll get zero. And if I multiply 24 X Y by zero, I will also get zero. Let's try another one. In this rational expression, we have two uh, quadratic expressions, one in the numerator and one in the denominator. In the numerator, we have a difference of squares, x squared minus nine. In the denominator, we have a simple trinomial. Before we can simplify this rational expression or state restrictions, we need to factor each part of this rational expression. So the numerator factors into x minus three times x plus three. The denominator factors into x plus three times x plus four. Now we can state the restrictions. The numerator has two factors, x plus three and x plus four. We're gonna set each one of them to zero. x plus three cannot equal zero, therefore x cannot equal negative three. 
x plus 4 cannot equal 0. Therefore, x cannot equal negative 4. Now let's see what we can pot potentially reduce. So we can clearly see that there are two identical factors, x plus 3 and x plus 3. Everything is multiplied here, so we can reduce these two. And the remaining simplest rational expression is now x minus 3 over x plus 4 with the following restrictions.